Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. As you can see, there's still snow up here on the mountain at the Grafton Peace Pagoda. But the Buddha taught us about peace. And this month, we may need to really think about peace a lot in our lives. That's because there's a major opposition between the Sun and Mars to Saturn, and then on the 9th, there's a new moon with Mercury. And then later on in the month, there's another square between Uranus and Pluto. Now, here's what all this means to your chart. As the month begins, Pisces, the sun and Mars in your third house compels you to say what you want to say and go where you want to go. Your mind might be, may be acting fast, but it also should be acting practical. An opposition to Saturn in the ninth house may remind you that your thoughts and ideas may be quite different than those of other people. This doesn't mean that you have to go to war with them. In fact, it means you have to be open so that you can create understanding where differences may appear. That will help you get ahead. The new moon and Mercury change the energy. Pisces, Mercury close to the new moon on the 9th in your third house of travel and communications activates a sense of wanderlust. But you need to stay aware of what's happening in your close environment and be willing to improve your knowledge base. Yes, you can travel or you get lost in a book or a movie, but you need to keep clear so that you can also take care of business. Before going on to the second half of the month and all the crazy energy that will be around, I'd like to show you how a transit chart can help you. If you look here, this is the sun, so this person is born under the sign of Virgo. However, they have 29 degrees Taurus rising, and that changes the placement of all the birth planets as well as where the transiting planets are. So you can see that Mars moves very quickly. Jupiter in one year will go that distance. Saturn will be in this house for the whole year, as will Uranus and Neptune and Pluto. When you know the position of these planets and how they affect your chart, you know what kind of energy to expect and how to react. And that's why a transit chart can be so helpful. Pisces, the challenge to change continues to exert pressure as Uranus squares Pluto for the third time. Now you may have some very unusual experiences dealing with money, possessions, and your personal resources. If you need to change your attitude towards money, do so now. The square to Pluto in your 11th house suggests that friends and organizations may help you understand social injustice. The opportunity of a lifetime is to commit yourself and your resources to a humanitarian cause. These predictions were based on your sun sign. Now, if you'd like to get more accurate information based on your time, date, and place of birth, you can go to my website, professorastrology.com. You can go to the personal services page, and you'll find a way that you can order a transit chart that will tell you exactly where these energies are falling in your chart and how they are affecting you, how you can use them to better your life. And I'd like to ask you to subscribe to these videos and share them with your friends because they're free. <laughs> so I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. And I hope you have a very blessed month.